Hello everyone, welcome back to the Trumpet Daily. Right now, tens of thousands of people are suffering violence all over the world. Civil war in Africa, drug war in Latin America, Islamist terrorism around the globe. Last week, the United Nations reported that more than 10,000 children have been killed in Syria over the past three years. That's children, just children. In Iraq, just this year, there have been more than 5,000 killings. Many of those have been civilian casualties, and many of them occurred before ISIS even began its big offensive in June. So there's no telling how high that number will go by the end of the year. In Ukraine, 700 people have been killed simply because Vladimir Putin is exercising his will to illegally annex pro-Russian provinces. 298 of those deaths were passengers on a commercial airliner who had nothing to do with the conflict. There were men, women, children, and three infants on board. There were entire families on board. And because someone launched a surface-to-air missile at them, they all became victims of mass murder. Yet amid all of these shocking atrocities, the strongest, most virulent condemnations by far are being reserved for the Jewish state of Israel. People, including even a prime minister, are comparing them to, well, not Bashar Assad or Vladimir Putin, but to Adolf Hitler. They're saying that the Jews, of all people, are committing atrocities like Nazis, worse than Nazis, in fact. At a political rally on Saturday, Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan said, Israelis have no conscience, no honor, no pride, those who condemn Hitler day and night have surpassed Hitler in barbarism. Of course, he was condemning just two weeks of Israel fighting against Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Israel defense forces are searching for and destroying tunnels and rocket launchers Hamas has used to terrorize and to kill Israelis. Over the weekend, Turkey's two largest cities have experienced some virulent anti-Israel protests and a pro-government newspaper uh, called on Turkish Jews to publicly apologize for the so-called genocide committed by the Zionist Jewish terror base that is Israel. The paper praised Hitler and wondered if it would be legitimate to kill a Zionist for daring to speak out in support of Israel. And then Prime Minister Erdogan added his fuel to the anti-Jew fire. Meanwhile, on Sunday, the, the head of the Cairo-based Arab League labeled Israeli attacks on Gaza a war crime. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas echoed his comments, adding that Israel's attacks in northeast Gaza were also crimes against humanity. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon also condemned the atrocious action of Israel in Gaza, saying that the deaths of civilians means that Israel may be violating humanitarian law. In Europe, the anger against Israel is also intensifying. Over the weekend, as many as 15,000 people protested against Israel on the streets of London. There were other large rallies in Brussels and Dublin. In Paris, protesters defied France's recent protest ban in order to vent their rage. Thousands of pro-Palestinian demonstrators hurled rocks, burned an Israeli flag, and set at least one car on fire in the northern part of the city. Rallies were also held in more than a dozen other French cities. The protest ban, if you remember, was put in place because of the July 13th riots, where thousands of pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched in Paris, chanting, Death to the Jews! And Hitler was right! And then later that night, the angry mob attacked a synagogue full of 150 Jews who were there holding a memorial service for those three Israeli teenagers that were recently murdered. The tide of anti-Semitism that flooded the planet during the 1930s is rising again. And if we understand history and prophecy, we can know that this surge of hate and violence will soon engulf the Jews and the Jewish state 
two prophecies in particular, one in Hosea 5 and the other in Zechariah 14, indicate that anti-Semitism manifested in hatred for the Jewish state and a desire to purge Jews from Jerusalem will play a central role in end-time events. Now, for more on this subject, make sure that you read what 79 million Europeans think of Jews in the latest issue of The Trumpet Magazine.